And finally, covered buttons. Okay, the, uh, what I'm going to show you now, this button right here is what I'm going to demonstrate on. Now this was, this is a lot bigger. I used this to make that. I used this side to make that. But the actual covered buttons that I made were this size to actually finally make this size covered button. So, what you start out with is exactly the same way I showed you in the last one. Uh, roll out your clay, and then I use a, a needle eye to uh, make two holes in the clay before I bake it, and then bake it. Then you have this little disc. I run my thread through, and then I have a button with the thread on it now. And what I do is I uh, take a square, I take a bunch of squares of this was the blue suede fabric and cut them out and then glue the button face down with um, E6, E6000 is what I've been using um, because it's it's just fast and it holds and it's uh, once it's dry it's never going to let go again so that's basically what I do so from there I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to complete this while I have the camera running but uh, once this is glued now to that I make sure that I have the whole back of the button covered with the E600. Oh, I'm hitting this damn thing again. Uh, the whole back of the button covered as well as all the fabric around the perimeter. It's a fiddly little thing to do. Hence the price of these things. I mean, they should be more than what we're paying, charging for them. I swear to heaven. Okay, so that's pretty well got glue everywhere, more or less. And now it's just a matter of I let the glue sit just a little bit, get tacky. This is a toluene based glue, so use it in a well ventilated area. It's pretty smelly. And then I start turning this in with my thumbnails. I don't do any clipping on it to, um, you know, to make the curve go better because it winds up making it too square looking in the front. It's just too small to worry about that. Now, as you can see here, since this is the first time I'm doing this size button, I didn't make it quite right because I should have had more coming around on this side. But I just did this so you get the idea. And so this is is really all it is. You just keep going around and going around um, with the edges until they finally stick in place. Now I'm just going to keep fidgeting with this until I get it so I can show you. I can't seem to do two things at once. I can't seem to talk and <laughs> do things. I keep pressing with your fingernails. It's going to take a while before the glue actually gets sticky enough to hold properly, but it eventually gets there. Okay, and also keep checking from the front to make sure that it's, it's looking round. And keep pressing and keep pressing and keep pressing and keep pressing. I may have needed to put a little more glue on this, but this is just a lesson to show you and get the idea. you got to be a little more careful. I, I can't get close enough to it while I'm doing the filming as I would normally get when I'm making them for real. But this didn't come out too bad. All right, so you know, once you get it all in there, that didn't come out bad at all, actually. And I usually, you know, just keep rolling the edges a little bit, making sure it stays as round as I can make it. So there you have it, a covered button. And therein ends the lessons. <laughs> Bye.